this event is very, very fun to play, first and foremost, because we're playing get a lot, we're playing against a lot of uh, international players, uh, and it's very good to see what opposition we could be running into in the future as well, because we have goals uh, which we want to achieve in a couple of years as well. We want to be a competitive team in all sorts. So. Uh, I knew that I was in the squad, uh, but I didn't know uh, whether or not I w was going to be here. Uh, so it's an awesome feeling to be here and to uh, aid the team with all, all of my resources that I have and to uh, see to it that we do the best that we can in the small steps, to which leads to bigger steps as well. So I think it's a very good experience for me and for the squad as a team. Uh, basically, we've just been reminding ourselves of what's important, reminding ourselves of our own personal goals. You know, um, we're here for experience, and we've, we got that yesterday with Romania playing against uh, probably the best team we've ever played against. Again today, we're playing against Bosnia, a very good side. Um, but we don't worry about what they're doing; we worry about what we're doing. You know, we're, we've, we've come a long way since we first started, and you know, playing against these sort of teams was well out of our reach two years ago. So playing against them now and getting good results is uh, obviously very pleasing. Um, just uh, learning from every game, you know, like you said, we had a lot of uh, invitational tournaments uh, over the last couple of weeks and, you know, uh, each game has brought up certain problems and we've just got to make sure that we learn from our mistakes in each game and push forward and, and actually take them into uh, what we've learned into these matches because these are the ones that count. Uh, for me, yeah, just uh, have a really good season with my club. Um, you know, we're meeting back up again in April. Uh, hopefully, we'll see a, a huge improvement from from the whole squad. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the uh, European qualification matches uh, in the end of 2010. Um, I can say that I'm happy with performance and the times that, like every coach, I'm never satisfied completely. That's normal things. But they make a big progress, they show every day new, some new things. And all of us, we have to be a little bit more realistic and more patient. Uh, I think we are on good way. Eight months is behind us and long road is on the front of us. But every day means one step more. And that's my usual information for the player. Don't go back. Just walk to the front, that's important things for, for us. I think what I can see is the m maturity of the team on a tactical basis um, and on an individual basis we can see people who have put in place some of the, the coaching techniques and the personal sort of information that they've got from a process goal point of view um, into the game situation. Um, it's obviously translating from the training ground into the competitive environment which is um, you know a step up in in terms of being able to perform under pressure and um, you, you can maybe do it in the training ground and being able to sort of transfer that um, in the games is is, is something that um, the, the players are now starting to do um, so it's great to see that happen the the performance last night against Romania is a fantastic achievement for for British handball um, and but we've still got a long way to go. I have to say very important because actually it's the first official games for us, first um, competitive game for us. We um, participate like every single European country in qualification for World Championship 2011 in Sweden. And for us, that's completely another kind of matches and for us this looks like a small Euro, small European Championship because team of Romania, Bosnia and Finland are really strong teams and for us is the holiday to have a chance to play against them. And actually this is the first big step in our preparation for London 2012. Uh, well, this is the this is the arena we want to be in. We want to be competing with the best teams, and we we had uh, you know the first two years of the program, we were trying to develop the players, look at what players we had in the UK, look at what players we had based in Europe, with British passports, we had our talent transfer. Now we've done all that. That's behind us now. We need to be out there playing. We get, the players are getting vast experience at this moment in time, uh, and you no, know, we're now got 
we've gone from a stage eight months ago where we had uh, about four caps on average for the squad. Now we're up to, I think, 15, 16 caps for the players. So, no, that, that's, qu that's quite important for them. You know, it's not, I don't think it's quite kicked in, but I think when the players go away from here and then come back to the next camp, we'll see a marked difference in, the, in their level of experience and how they apply that.